Hi, it's the Daily Decrypt. What a fine day for currency competition. I am your host, Amanda B. Johnson, and today's episode is brought to you by BitShares. The sixth classic block out of the last 1,000 Bitcoin blocks has just been mined by KNC Miner, a mining pool with approximately 4% of the network's hash rate. Slush, a mining pool with about 5% of Bitcoin's hash rate, has said they'll begin offering their miner base a choice in which client to support, giving Classic potentially 9% of the network hash rate. But bigger blocks via Classic require 75% of the network's hash rate, meaning Classic supporters have about 66% of miners left to convince. Some Classic supporters are even dipping into their own pockets, sending Bitcoin donations to pools which support Classic. With such personal expense to themselves, why do they bother? The answer seems to be a matter of sheer expediency. A look at the last 1,000 blocks shows that two-thirds of them were over 900 kilobytes in size. With a cap of 1,000 kilobytes, or 1 megabyte, this means that Bitcoin will run out of room to serve new users if it experiences much more growth. This has resulted in posts such as this becoming more common on Reddit, where users are confused as to why their transactions are taking hours or even over a day to confirm. A far cry from early stage Bitcoin marketing materials, which claimed that the network was faster than banks. Sponsored shout out from our friends at Free Press Publications, a cryptocurrency supporting independent news outlet, which is always looking for new writers. Offering both a podcast and written materials covering global news of all sorts, you can learn more about this Peace, Love, and Liberty publication at fpp.cc. The CC stands for Creative Commons. When the variant Bitcoin XT tried to do last year what Classic is doing now, the most blocks they ever got out of a thousand was eight. Classic's current count of six out of a thousand is nearing that level, and whether or not they can push past is of course unknown. But one thing is known, and that is that some, and perhaps many, users of cryptocurrency prefer friendliness to infighting. In the past few days alone, posts have cropped up in the Ethereum, Dash, and Dogecoin subreddits, coming from users who claim that they are beginning to sell their bitcoins in favor of these other coins. And market cap prices confirm this. In December 2015, the market cap of all cryptocurrencies combined was $7.6 billion, and Bitcoin made up 90% of that. Now, two months later, cryptocurrency's market cap is still the same, $7.6 billion, but Bitcoin's share of that has dropped to 84%. Is this good? Is this bad? Is this high? Is this low? Well, those adjectives are up to you to decide, dear viewer, but one thing is for sure, and that is that it is currency competition. Welcome to it, buddy. Today's episode is brought to you by BitShares, a currency that offers dividends on new features coded by developers via feature-backed asset tokens. The BitShares community also invites you to join them for their liquidity event on February 29th, which will focus on the trading pair of dollars and bitcoins via the smart coins BitUSD and BitBTC. You can find out more about the event in the description and more about the currency itself at bitshares.org. And I invite you to visit the Daily Decrypt subreddit, where I spend a good bit of time myself. There you can send me story tips, praise, hate mail, anything you like. Stop on by. Have a good day.